Mm. It's so good, man. Thank I can you. taste the acidity in there. I can taste all the flavors combined. I can tell you put tons of love in here. Love that's it. for sure. Mm. So good, so good. I love it. I love it so much, I think I'll try a little bit more of your food. So Absolutely. We, we even have, Teffy. We're gonna have Teffy, my man Teffy over here, born and raised in Ethiopia, down here in Green Bay, Wisconsin, bringing the taste of Ethiopia to Green Bay. He's gonna be making four of their authentic tacos. Number one sellers, huh? They are. Awesome, awesome. Well, we're gonna go over here and see what my guy is over here. Uh, t tell me a little bit about what I'm looking at right here. So right now I'm making, you know, the very common tacos. Uh, we got three, meat, chicken, steak, and pork. And I'm gonna make you a special one. All right, I like special. Yeah. I'm not special, I just like special. All right, so we have a lentil. This was uh, intended for vegetarians, but everyone who tries it loves it. Okay. Um, I think the reason is simply because it's the mo like the closest thing to Ethiopian authentic food. It the looks lentil. really meaty, I'm looking at it. Right. If it's, you guys can see that, I mean, it, 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 I, I almost thought this was spaghetti sauce, believe it or not. It looks really, really meaty. It is nice. Uh, it's lentil, which is a uh, family of beans. Yeah, it's very yeah. healthy for you, too. Right, right. Good. So, I'm going to make you good. Awesome. Yeah. I'm going to use kibe. We use this for They call it kibe. Yeah. That's the clarified yeah. infused butter. Right. I can see why there's so many tons of different flavors because you got the flavor in the butter, you got right. the flavor in the, what is it called again? Help me out. The kibe? Kibe. You got right. the flavor in the kibe and blending all those together should make a nice little party in your mouth, huh? Right, right. I like it, I like it. You smell that? I do, I do. I can see, I can smell all the flavors releasing from it. You can smell this from outside. I can't believe this is vegetarian. I've never had Ethiopian tacos before. I ain't gonna lie, I've just had a Mexican taco and I ain't know that Ethiopians can make tacos, but apparently they do. And as you guys see, there's plenty of color, there's plenty of flavor. I see the slaw on top of that. So yeah, just looking at this, man, my mouth is watering. I just they wanna are, take a bite of it. so good, help yeah, me out. Huh? Let's see. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try the you vegetarian the one. First. Cause I am a meat eater to the day I die. Put a little lime on there first. Put a little lime on there? All right, awesome. Extra. So the lime, lime is kind of like the little garnishing. Yeah. Whoa, it's just... all over. All right. Oh yeah. I feel like I need a margarita with this. That would like be a bad deal. Do they make margaritas in Ethiopia? Uh, what do they have, Teffy? It's what? The like alcohol. Mm -hmm. Oh, they you can get anything. Tench, I believe it's called. Tela is probably the most common. Mm. Tela? Yeah, it's homemade. Woo! Got a little quite spicy there. Oh yeah. You know what's funny is I, I, I almost can't even tell that that's vegetarian. Right. And it's so good. And because because you guys filled it with the lentils and the um, all the other fixings, it really, it's really meaty. We use a lot of onions for that, a lot. And onions, if you guys don't know, are super healthy for you, good for your blood right. pressure. Yeah. Eat a lot of onions. Huh? Yeah. I guess I will. He's looking at me. So this is the pork. And the pork has a little variation mm. on the sauce. We put a little more sweet in there, so it's got mm. a little more barbecue flavor to it. I don't know which one I like the best. I'll tell you what though, that is some good eating. You know what, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna try and make me a little something. Oh, I would love to. So, yeah. 